So I was checking why every single YouTuber went ahead and basically made a huge massive reveal on TV right now talking about this. And yes, I think someone prepped a planned tweet and put the wrong date because the tweet would make perfect sense tomorrow at this time. The language sounds legit SEC-ish emo versus crypto knuckle had a public crack. I guess we'll see. Someone potentially hack Gary Gensler and the SEC has not approved the listing and trading of spot ETF traded exchange product. Um, it was compromised and unauthorized tweet was posted and this got like 19k likes. This was absolutely blowing up. The SEC will investigate itself for market manipulation following the hacked Bitcoin ETF approval post. So um, this is, I don't know if this is a joke or not or if they will really have to, I guess some they will have to find who hacked them basically because Gary Gensler was under a lot of pressure. Um, and this is what we were seeing. Just a quick update, the SEC government was compromised and a lot of people were expecting the bull run. The original baking tweet has now been called a hack was posted at 4.11, interesting time. Maybe the tweet was supposed to be scheduled for 4.11 East on January 10th and someone accidentally posted at the wrong time. This is very possible, but I don't think they would do like some sort of damage control and say it's hacked. I think they would go ahead and say it's hacked. A lot of people are speculating, oh, well, um, you know, it's so confusing. Maybe it should be posted tomorrow at this time. No, um, if Gary Gensler and the SEC say so, if we trust them, uh, they definitely probably um, is not approved right now. Maybe it's approved tomorrow. Or maybe they just went ahead and said, okay, we're not approving the Bitcoin ETFs as people were expecting. But again, guys, this is pretty much crazy. Uh, Sim swap incident involving Gary Gensler will be offering all Bloomar X account with 50% discount. I mean, this is pretty funny. Like a lot of people are profiting in on this. But the thing you have to know is this is the leak, potential leak. But this was proven to be false. And I mean, that's... It looks pretty legit, but so we can, uh, you know, basically um, Bitcoin has been very volatile right now. I personally wouldn't trade P prices have been going down, but this is just another day in crypto. Anything happens and this is only happening in crypto. Basically, we never saw this before happening on any other platforms um, or any other categories. Uh, this is absolutely insane to me. Just another day though, every single day we're seeing something different. Last week we saw someone sent $1 million to Satoshi Nakamoto. Some people were saying that it's the big institutions. I personally think it's just one rich guy sending $1 million to the Satoshi Nakamoto wallet. But I guess we're going to be seeing some ship worth burns and I'll be keeping you guys updated. Days like this remind me the SEC should investigate itself for multiple things and crypto Twitter remains undefeated in memes. So that's what um, the CEO of Ripple XRP wrote, which is absolutely incredible. But I'll keep you guys updated with more. Peace, everyone.